Maureen Faruqi, what does it say about the lack of reaction? Now, again, if a far-right politician had stood next to somebody uh, in a posed photo with the best place to put, insert racial group, sexual group, uh, gender, was in the bin, which means kill them, get rid of them, we know what the reaction would be. Mm -hmm. Nothing for Faruqi, though. Nothing. Well, it just tells you, I guess, what most of the media class are focused on. Because look at the reaction that Tony Abbott got when he unwittingly stood in front of a sign that said, ditch the witch, yep. about Julia Gillard, and the outcry over misogyny that spurred so many headlines and so many reports. And here is the deputy leader of the Greens standing next to a brazenly anti-Semitic sign knowingly that it was anti-Semitic. She would have known that. She's no fool in this area. She knows exactly what she's doing. And she not only stood next to the person, she posted mm. it to her personal social she media. She knew what she was doing. She did delete it sometime later when there was some personal backlash on the page. But why hasn't there been any backlash well, from other members of the media, from uh, other... Yeah. Commentators well, outside Sky and well, News Corp. Because this thing, they're trying to say, oh, it's just in that little hook, and then she's going to sit on one of those committees that'll investigate us later in the year and complain about this coverage and all the rest. Nicholas, again, as a bloke who is, you know, let's say the friendly face of the left, um, you would understandably be as detested as everyone else by this, but at what point? are the Greens unable to be dealt with, unable to get preferences? Because if they've got members of Parliament like that, I repeat, if it was in any other gender or any other race, we know the reaction. Well, look, I, I agree that that was a vile anti-Semitic sign. I, I, I felt, like, almost breathless when I, I, I saw it because it's, it's so uh, shocking. Uh, it's disgusting. Uh, but I will, and I'm not here to defend the Greens, but I will say that uh, Senator Faruqi, uh, upon having this pointed out, ha has, has, has unreservedly apologised, taken the post down, which, which just picking up on Caroline's point before what? about the ditch the witch, um, Pauline Hanson never apologised okay, for participating in that rally uh, with the ditch which 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 by the way was attended by far Did right she? groups back in there. 2000 well, I know because I was around at the time yeah, I, I know and there was the anti semitic yeah. League she of Rights okay, were okay. participating there on that day with ago. Tony Abbott and it others, and they never apologised for that. They never apologised. But the idea that Faruqi gets a free pass because she Pauline. says sorry, but yeah, if it's any other politician, right. they're not allowed to say sorry. They held their feet to the fire because they took the photo, posted the photo. Guys, I'm out of time. 